Hey guys, how's it going? So in today's Black Ops 3 video, we're going to be opening 10 common supply drops. As you can see, I have 101 keys, so that'll give me 10 supply drops. And uh, what I hope to get is anything that will apply to these guns. Uh, I'm My three favorite are Man of War, Razorback, and M80. Or not M80, but M887. That's just my uh, name for the class. But um, I also want to get into the Vesper and the Cuda a little bit more. Because um, these are pretty pretty good guns. But uh, anything epic or legendary for these, whether it be camos or uh, attachment variants, would be awesome. So let's just jump into it. I see an epic. Oh, we got an epic the first time. War Torn on the Argus. That's pretty sick. We also got a Hal Halkian. I'm not sure how to say that. And then a Surf Sub Calling Card. So that was a pretty dang good first go right there. That's actually my second epic ever. Oh, I see two possible. Oh, wow, two, <laughs> two epics in a row. This is insane. So yeah, this is my third epic ever. Um, two back to back. That's a uh, very, very, very good. And three commons, so football decal, battlefield, and verde on the draken. I really like those epics. That that was really good luck. So we got a phoenix calling card, which is rare. A crew calling card, hallucination on the HVK. Let's spin another box. Stealth on the BRM, verde VMP, creature feature calling card. Possible epic and legendary. And we get all commons, unfortunately. Hallucination on the combat knife, old school calling card, and Verde Black Cell. Possible. Oh, there we go. Light camo on the Gorgon, contrast on the PO6, and timber on the Locust. And we got the rare that we were hoping for. Another one. But for the Haymaker, a Halcyon, or however you say that, uh, and a field for the Vesper and Hallucination, so... I don't know, the field's not that great of a camo, but it's something, so... For the Vesper, at least. I think we have th two or three more to go. We're blowing through these. War Calling Card surfs up once again, and the Contrast and the Pharaoh. This is our last one, guys. This is actually going to be a pretty short video. However, I did get the two epics in the beginning, so... That was pretty awesome. Unfortunately, I don't actually use the Argus or the RPG, so... Can't put them to good use, but... Alright, and our last one gave us Violet on the Man of War, which is actually pretty good. I'll probably use that, the Violet on the Man of War. Um, I use the Man of War a lot, that's actually my most used weapon. Stealth on the KN44 and Verdi on the SVG. SVG, not SVG. But, anyway guys, that's about it. That was 100... Crypto keys blown through in seconds. So hopefully you guys enjoyed. I'm actually going to check out... I don't think I can actually... Yeah, I haven't even unlocked the Argus yet. I'm not really a shotgun fan. I kind of messed around with the uh, KRM in the beta, but not very good with them. And what did I... I also got, like, the ice on the... Oh. Let me take something off here. I believe we can actually see this. Black market. There we go. So this is one of the camos we got. Ice is actually pretty cool. You can see it's moving as well. So it's like a pretty cool dynamic camo, actually. I really like they put uh, like dynamic camos into the game. It is actually a very, very cool thing. Oh, actually, let's look at the uh, Man of War camo I got. Black Market, Violet, there we go. It's not dynamic, unfortunately, but it is pretty cool. This is this would be one of the better camos in Black Ops 2, because uh, they didn't have dynamic camos, so this is actually a pretty cool camo. I might take this paint job off. Yeah, that's that's pretty nice. I'm, probably, I'm actually going to use that, so... That about does it for this video, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed. If you did enjoy the video, please drop a like on it. Check out my channel for more daily content, and we'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching.